I am Dr. Sanjeev Singh Yadav. Uh, from the past two decades, I am uh, concentrating on anal canal conditions. Anal canal conditions are those diseases which occur in the anal canal and they are mostly named as piles, fissure, fistula, uh, abscesses or pus cavities in the anal canal and the pylonidal uh, sinus which is behind the anal canal. We are from Maven Medical Center which is a daycare center and we cater to these diseases uh, as a daycare because of the advent of modern diagnostic facilities and advent of modern treatment facilities uh, which have uh, been brought to this center from a different place. Today our discussion is on piles. What are piles? A common word, common word used in, uh, in India, Bawasir or Arsamulalu, Molalu are uh, the different type of uh, uh, words which is located basically. These are hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are basically nothing but a bunch of blood vessels which are there in the anal canal and the lower part of the rectum. Piles, they occur because of the presence of anal cushions. There are three anal cushions at 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock in everybody's body. Their work is to see that the motion which is collected in the rectum goes off very smoothly and some characteristic features which are there in the uh, fecal matter like minerals, salts, water which is needed to the body, the anal cushions absorb them. Once the anal cushions become a disease, like they become piles, they slowly slack down. That is the reason why it becomes a disease. Anal cushions are normal protective things in the body. Now they have become a disease, that is why they are called piles now. They are present in the lower part of the rectum and the upper part of the anal canal and they slowly descend down depending on multiple conditions. The reason why they uh, descend down will we will discuss that later on, but the main thing is formation of piles. It is very common, earlier they used to say people above 40 years are normally tend to get piles, but that is very old saying or the reason why piles used to form in older age. But nowadays with the advent of modernization or westernization of Indian food, like lot of cheese, lot of uh, bread uh, which normally we never used to take earlier, lot of things in uh, the junk food uh, which has contributed to the formation of piles at an early age. In our center, I have operated on a young boy of 4 years old to a lady of around 98 years also. So anybody is prone to piles as earlier they used to say cardiac condition comes only after 40-45 but nowadays you are seeing in day to day event like many people are losing their lives because of the heart conditions they are getting in. Okay, anyway, we will be discussing about piles. Piles are, as I have already told you, nothing but a bunch of anal cushions, three in number. They sat down and they create a mass-like structure in the anal canal, come into the anal canal. We have four grades, the first degree, which is inside the anal canal. At that time, the symptoms of uh, this disease will be slight itching, some watery discharge and there will be no discomfort. But you feel that the toilet is not emptying itself properly, some amount of fecal matter is left and you may need to go back once again. The second degree when the pile mass is almost come to the corner of the anal canal down below and sometimes they cause increased itching, they cause a feel of mass and they can bleed also. In the third degree the fecal, I mean the pile masses come out and then they go inside back once again. Sometimes in the later stages you need to push them back. But mass feel will be definitely there. You will have a feeling like something is there which is obstructing my pile mass, my fecal matter to come down. That is the reason why it will be very difficult to identify uh, the reason for that. A feeling, a subjective feeling of fullness will be there in the anal canal and your toilet definitely will have a multiple uh, goals. You have to go multiple times for removing most of the fecal matter which is present. And the most classical feature is you will get bleeding. Here the bleeding is very silent. In hemorrhoids or piles, the bleeding is very silent. Pain is very less in nature. Pain only comes when it comes to the fourth degree where the whole pile mass just comes out and doesn't go back in once again. 
that causes lot of pain because the door the splinter which is there at the edge of the anal canal which allows us to pass motion whenever we have a sensation and it automatically closes the door closes the pile masses are outside the blood supply is from above below that is the reason that the piles become bluish black in color or gray in color and a lot of uh, thick redness will be there bleeding will be more prominent and the patient will have severe pain not able to sit up so the basic symptoms are itching watery discharge bleeding or silent bleeding and ultimately pain a feel of mass is always there when the pile mass is increased from first degree to fourth degree now the question is treatment part before that why you get hemorrhoids the basic reason for getting hemorrhoids is your food the type of food you eat the quantity of food you eat the type of digestive nature of your uh, stomach more than that whether you choose the food properly or not is more important if you don't choose the food properly stomach is just nothing but a machine which crushes the food sometimes it is not possible for the stomach to crush the food that is why undigested food material get come down because treatment of digested food is more easy than undigested material come down and this causes uh, poop to become slightly harder multiple uh, ball like things coming with coming out with difficulty and due to this there will be lot of bacteria in the small and the large bowel they change the characteristics you get lot of bloating in the abdomen your stomach or abdomen looks to be bloated every time you pass lot of gases so these are the few complications which can occur because the pathway of the anal canal is not clear because of the presence of the masses the pile masses that is why food is a very important characteristics wherein your digestion capacity is also very important and the most important thing is what you eat not digested creates the piles to come down so the basic reason is constipation with age the muscles also become weak that is why removing the fecal matter will be very difficult third thing thyroid and diabetes cause the intestine movements to become slow that is one other reason where the fecal matter doesn't come out sometimes the patient has to put his finger and remove all these things debility or not able to do exercise or able to not able to walk properly sitting on bed lying down the couch obesity pregnancy these are multiple factors where constipation can come and these could be the reason why you can get piles the treatment part is basically once it crosses second degree it will be basically surgical earlier they used to tie a knot here and remove this part of the uh, pile mass the blood supply you which is there the veins which come from the arterial above the veins which are there the artery remains that is why once again the formation occurs in the old type of treatment nowadays with laser we go inside and block the blood supply which is supplying the pile mass and we dissolve the whole pile mass with a laser laser treatment is the best treatment available right now along with that sometimes depending on the type of pile mass sometimes depending on the swelling of the pile mass sometimes the pile masses could be quite big then we have to do a doppler guided hemorrhoid artery ligation we ligate the blood supply because the blood supply will be quite thick and then the pile mass are given laser a combination of treatment is done depending on what type what time the patient has come to the doctor and the diagnostic facility we have a video cam where we show the patient on the tv what is the type of disease is having and after surgery then we can show him back once again whether the disease has gone or not so basically we are more into high tech gadgets we have microwave ablation also of the piles we do lot of cases of fissures and fistulas also my request is if anybody has a doubt regarding this facility or your underpants are getting wet you get lot of itching in that area I don't think it is it could be just simple worm infestation you kindly come over to this place and get yourself checked up if there is a treatment we give the treatment if the treatment is surgical we have the laser therapy and the dg halrar on the infrared coagulation for the earlier piles all this treatment will help you see that your normal activity becomes very easy if the day care you come in the morning by evening you are back home a day's rest and then ultimately you can go back to work the early the diagnosis early the treatment the better the health condition later treatment will have combination of surgeries that is why you have to take rest for a few days more bleeding infection are common things which have to which can be treated with injectable and other medication so kindly get yourself checked up nowadays with lot of 
uh, high tech gadgets available in your hand also you can know the symptoms of the disease and come to the doctor and do the final checking thank you very much